Hello there, folks. Welcome back. It is Dave, the Real Music Observer, observing real music in real time for real people, just like you right there. And me. All right, so who is this special guest who's going to show up at Neil Sean's Benefit Concert, which is, by the way, one week from today? And you can't get tickets because it's sold out in five minutes. So make sure you ask Neil, hey, Neil, how about an audio CD? Hey, hey, Neil, how about a DVD of this performance? Now, who is my choice for the special guest? Who do I think will be the special guest Neil mentioned at the very end of a little radio interview he was doing? And by the way, if I were the interviewer at that point, I would have said, so, is it Steve Perry? Is it Steve? Is it Steve? Tell us it's Steve. <laughs> I don't think it's going to be Steve, okay? I know that disappoints. Here's my logic. Steve Perry goes to places, and he does it very uh, in a stealth manner, okay? In other words, if you expect Steve to show up, he's not going to show up. Uh, if you don't expect Steve, like at the Eels concert, uh, he might actually show up. So, and this is kind of everybody saying, hey, could be Steve Perry. No, it's not going to be Steve Perry. It could be like John Waite would be a, a good uh, special guest. Who I really think it's going to be is Sammy Hagar. And yes, and my friend Linda just broke into a massive applause. Uh, by the way, I could be talking about a lunar eclipse or, you know, a volcanic eruption. And underneath the post about the volcano, Linda would write, Did you know that Sammy Hagar is known as the Red Rocker? <laughs> I just love her. She's awesome. But you could be talking about anything, and she'll bring Sammy Hagar into the conversation. I talk about bands all day long, and then underneath it's like, do you know that Sammy Hagar just turned 70? I mean, what's up with 70? He doesn't... Anyway, I'm going to go on the age thing again, and it's just... It's hope for me and you, like listening to real music in real time. Uh, it's hope. Aging slowly. Sammy Hagar. Uh... All right, and another reason for this possibility of Sammy being the special guest is this little band that was together back in the early 80s called Hagar, Sean, Aronson, and Shreve. For those of you who like initials better, it's easier to remember, it doesn't roll off the tongue, but it's H-S-A-S, -S, okay? And uh, by the way, what happened to the tune Top of the Rock? It, it used to be on the radio back in the 80s, uh, back home, it was 94 HJY and 94.5 WCOZ and, and uh, 104 WBCN. All of those stations used to play this song, and it just vanished a few weeks, months later. Hasn't been on the mainstream rock uh, stations since back then. Amazing song. In fact, you might want to stop the video, go listen to Top of the Rock, and then come back. You've got Neil Sean playing guitar. Okay, they do a nice version of Whiter Shade of Pale, too, the Procol Harum classic. But Top of the Rock, I mean, at the end of it, uh, we all think that Steve Perry kind of screams at the end of Separate Ways. You've got to listen to what Sammy Hagar does at the end of Top of the Rock. Oh, my. I mean, one thing about Neil Sean, he's hung out with some pretty decent vocalists. Uh, and Sammy, Sammy is a party in a box, uh, and he... We'll bring his tequila and he'll bring the Cabo spirit. And that is why my vote is for Sammy Hagar being the special guest at Neil Sean's benefit concert. Will I be right? Will I be wrong? Does it really matter because this is going to be such an epic concert? Probably not. All right. Okay. So that's my video. That's my guess. I'm going with Sammy. You can go with Dave. Probably not going to be Dave. Probably not going to be Sam and Dave either. It's just going to be Sammy. That's my guess. All right, I'm done before I crack myself up again. I will be doing more real uh, music videos real soon. And check in with me in a short time, and I'll be back. Talk to you then.